Hi, it's Chris Croft from SuccessfulTrainers.com. So I earn a living talking, and I've mostly earned my living running workshops. So this is where you spend about seven hours, a whole day, working with a group of people, teaching them about negotiating or project management or something like that. But you can earn a living speaking by being a keynote speaker. And here, you just speak for about 45 minutes. And the keynote speakers that I know charge between probably one and a half thousand pounds up to about five thousand pounds for 45 minutes. Now, obviously, if you're a sort of Olympic gold medalist or one of the royal family or an ex prime minister, you can charge a lot more than that. But normal keynote speakers are in this sort of range. Now, the seven hour stuff that I do, we tend to get paid between probably 1,000 and 2,000, let's say. 2,000 is, is upper end of my game. So you might look at that and think, well, there's no doubt which one's easier. And obviously this one here, this 45 minute one, I suppose is a bit more scary. But actually, I wouldn't describe it as scary. I would say that actually, if you're looking at pros and cons, this one gives you a real buzz. It's actually really fun. And I do the occasional one of these, and I do get a bit nervous beforehand, but when I do it, I absolutely love it. So it gives you a real buzz, and it does give you a really good pounds per hour ratio. That's certainly true. But there are some snags with doing a keynote speaking, and this is really why I haven't spent my whole career doing keynote speaking. And one of them is that there's a lot more travel. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a certain amount of travel in these workshops. But the keynotes, quite often you have to go all over the world. And although you're only speaking for 45 minutes, you still have to go there the night before because you can't risk being late. You know, you can't turn up half an hour before you're on stage in front of 500 people. So you have to go up the night before and you have to hang around all afternoon and listen to all the other speakers and it's all a bit grim. And in the end, it still is a whole day of your time. Um, but the other problem with these things is that the selling is much more difficult. Uh, and the preparing, which is part of the sales process. You often have to have lots of meetings with the customer. You have to understand the company in detail and they want you to do a run through and then they fiddle with what you're going to say. And this whole selling process is a nightmare because they're paying you so much money for 45 minutes. They're really fussy about it. Um, and so often you need an agent for that and the agent is taking a fee. Quite often the agent's fee is on top of that. So the customer's paying 10 grand and you're only getting two or whatever it is. But you need to get into an agent and agents are pretty fussy about who they take. So that's all, that's all pretty messy. And the final problem is that you don't get that many repeats because once they've had you doing your one thing at their annual conference, it's going to be at least a year till they might hire you to do something else. But quite often they perceive you as somebody who does one thing. And a lot of these speakers do only do one thing and they're known for doing one thing really well. So you don't get a lot of repeat work. You have to just wait for the agent to find another customer. So there are snags with keynote speaking. Although I do obviously take it if it comes up. And I love doing it. And some of my customers who I've done workshops for have asked me, would you like to talk at our Christmas conference or whatever? And the answer is absolutely yes, I would. So if you look at workshops in comparison, we're doing seven hours, but it goes really quickly and it's fun because you build a relationship up with the people in the group and you get to really know the people in the group. Maybe you've got six people or maybe you've got 20 people for the day, but you get to know them and you get to see the learning as they gradually understand the subject you're teaching. And that's much more satisfying, I think, than just turning up, being a bit of a star and going again. With this, you really see them learn it. And you can do activities where they test it and they try it out. And, and that's where a lot of the learning happens. But also it gives you a bit of a break while they're doing an exercise. So it's not seven hours of solid work. Obviously, you have a coffee break and you have lunch and you have a tea break. But you also give them activities to do. So it's a pretty fun day. It's a good way to earn your living, really. I'd rather be talking to the group than just hanging around wait, waiting for my turn to do my thing. So it's not as if the talking is, is the hard part. It's just the amount of time they take. And they take a similar amount, really. But obviously, this one does pay better per day as well as per hour. 
So really, the only snag with this one is that it is a long day and still you might have to go up the night before. I mean, you know, there's still there's still quite a lot of travel involved, but but often you don't have to go quite as far afield as you do for the keynote speeches. And then the final advantage of the workshops is that you do get repeats. So they will almost certainly ask you back to do the same for another group or they want to do part two or can you help them with a different subject. So once you've got a customer, you'll have repeats forever. So there's very little selling involved and there's a lot of selling involved with the keynotes. So those are some of the pros and cons of the two methods. You could become a keynote speaker and just do one or two per month or you could become a trainer and you could do one or two per week. You'll probably end up earning roughly the same you'll probably end up having to do more presenting if you're doing workshops, but they're easier, they're more fun, there's more repeats, there's less training. And I think there's a lot to be said for being a workshop person rather than a keynote speaker. But they're both parts of training, and of course, you can do both. So if one of these comes up, take it. So there we are. Hope that's been a useful overview of a couple of the options. If you want to know more about all this stuff, if you want to get into either of these things, contact me on SuccessfulTrainers.com, book an appointment, we can chat, and that would be really fun. I would enjoy that. So maybe I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.